All right, guys, uh, I'm making a lot of videos today, but yeah, I uh, want to quickly talk about LSU real quick because this this happened, I think, about a couple days ago um, with the whole Jaden Daniel situation of, of him uh, transferring to LSU. And I really wanted to talk about this because this is a big move. This is a very, very big move for Brian Kelly. And I feel like this move kind of proves or kind of shows that Kelly is desperate to get as many wins as possible at LSU. He wants to build momentum. He wants to build morale, um, not just for this year, but for the future, right? I don't. I, I'm gonna be honest with you guys. I think Brian Kelly knows that this team is not gonna is not gonna win the West. I think Brian Kelly knows that this team is well. I mean, maybe they have a shot of beating Alabama, but he knows that they're not making. They're not going to the SC championship. They have that. They're most likely not going to a national championship. That they're most they're they're not going to win the West, you know. But if with but with a competent quarterback, with a quarterback that has a lot of experience and that still has sh has shown signs of having some pretty good upside to him, right? If LSU can win maybe around eight games, nine or ten or ten wins, that is huge morale for the future. Um, that is huge morale for the program, and that's something that they that they they're missing. They're missing. They're missing confidence from their fan base. They're missing it. They're missing the confidence. Now, I know that some LSU fans are are, are, are definitely confident in Brian Kelly. They, they love the move. They love the hire. Um, but there are other LSU fans that, you know, are kind of like, you know, Brian Kelly's a great coach. That's a great hire. But I'm expecting wins. Like, you know, LSU is one of those programs where they should be on the level where Alabama's at. They're, they should be on the level where Georgia is at, because that 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 state is so damn talented, and and, and again, Louisiana is one of the I, I think it's the rarest state in college football when it comes to talent, because again, you look at like states like Mississippi, where you have like two universities and two universities that you kind of have to compete for the in-state talent. Obviously, the state of Alabama, it's Alabama and Auburn, Georgia. It's, you know, mainly it's Georgia and Georgia Tech, but it's so many damn four and five stars that everyone is trying to swarm that state, especially Auburn. They love to take players from that state. Um, Florida has like, you know, four or five universities that are competing for talent every single year. California, UCLA, USC, and damn near the entire Pac-12. So Louisiana, it's probably, it's the only state where Louisiana could literally wrap around a fence on it. And they're going to, and the majority of the players coming off of that state are going to go to LSU. There may, you know, again, there are some players that, you know, teams like Alabama can definitely go in there and poach and take some of those recruits for, um, from, but overall, LSU every single year, they pretty much have gotten that state under control. And so I think with Brian Kelly, he knows that he can win. And LSU fans know that they should be able to be on that level with Alabama and Georgia because of because of the state, because of the talent, because of the tradition. And it's just it's one of those programs that should be up there. So, yeah, well, Brian Kelly, if he, if they can win nine or ten games this year, it will be a big, big boost for the program, huge boost for the program. And I am a huge believer in momentum. I am a huge believer in mor in morale. I believe that exists. Um, and like I said, guys, getting a guy like Jaden Daniels, I think it's proven to me that Kelly's ready to win. He's ready to, right? He doesn't want to have a, another six or seven wins type of football season. He's, he doesn't want to have that. He wants to have a season where he, where he can win games, where he, where his team can have an opportunity to compete. Right, he does not want to let his team down. He doesn't want to let these fans down um, by 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 having a kind of a projected year of six seven wins. He wants confidence instilled in this team as fast as possible, and I don't blame Brian Kelly at all for it. Now, I think another thing too is that it creates competition within the locker room, and you're gonna find out who are the alphas and who are the betas. You are gonna find out which one of those guys. Are gonna, is going to step up to the occasion. Is it Miles Brennan? Is he ready to compete? Is it Walker Howard as a freshman? Can he rise up to that level of competition? Can Jaden Daniels, as talented as Jaden Daniels is, and he has some and he has some pretty good upside about him, the job is not guaranteed to go into Jaden Daniels. It is a competition. So, you know, is he going to be one of these guys, one of these guys that he goes in there and you think he's going to get the job? You know, we'll see. You know, we'll see. But if he's a guy that's ready to go in there and compete for a starting job, but if he wins it outright, 
That's just going to make players better. And again, you're going to find out who are the alphas, which players are willing to get better from this competition, and which players are just going to hit the transfer portal because they don't want to compete. You're going to find out very soon. And I feel like that's obviously, I think that I think that, that is a, a win-win situation for this LSU uh, football program. But yeah, guys, I love this move. I love this move at all. Um, not to mention that every single every single time LSU gets a quarterback, what happens? They win a bunch of games. Uh, LSU is one of they're just one of those programs. They can have five straight losing seasons. All they need is just one quarterback, and the, and the team will pop off. They're one of those programs that can do that because of the state that they reside in. Um, but yeah, guys, love the move by LSU. Um, I'm not you know I'm not saying they're going to win the West, but I do, I do, I, I completely understand what Brian Kelly is trying to do, and I think it could, and I think it could potentially work. Anyway, guys, let me know how you guys feel about it. I'll catch you guys in the next one.